So Ray Lewis, who I'm sure a lot of Ravens fans are pretty familiar with. I mean, he is kind of a Hall of Famer, one of the best inside linebackers to ever do it. Um, and also a two-time Super Bowl champion. And Ray Lewis has a long list of accolades. If we started talking about them all, we will be here forever. So we're not, but Ray Lewis is well known around well known around the Ravens community, as he should be. Um, but he was on Inside the NFL with Phil Sims on Paramount Plus. If you want to actually watch the clip, uh, you could check out our shorts. We uploaded it there, but on here I just did not feel like dealing with the whole copyright thing. But anyway, Ray Lewis, he was on there and he had some very interesting things to say about one Lamar Jackson and also about the Baltimore Ravens offense. Uh, and let, let's let's just go over what Ray Lewis spoke about. He said, um, I think it's simple. Lamar Jackson is a rock star, but the offense he's been playing in the last three to four years with Greg Roman as the offensive coordinator, I always said this, that doesn't fit him. So that was, I mean, he started off straight like that. That offense does not fit him. Uh, but he said he always said this. I'm not sure if I've ever heard Ray Lewis said that, say that before, and my apologies if I missed it. But it's true. It's true. Uh, it's been something that we've been saying on here for a while. Other people are very much aware of it. This does not fit Lamar Jack. He can do it. He can run it. But this offense that so many people say was built for Lamar Jackson, it wasn't built for Lamar Jackson. It was built for the Baltimore Ravens. More specifically, it was built for and by Greg Roman. This offense is catered to his likings. This offense is catered to his strengths. This offense is catered to him. I mean, it is his offense. But anyway, uh, Ray Lewis continued. He said, it fits him, Lamar Jackson, because he has to be Superman. He has to make like five people miss. And yeah, we, we, we know about that. We know about him having to play a lot of hero ball, whatnot, save the day. Um, him always running because he got to make people miss for when he runs. But another thing too now, don't, don't forget with Lamar Jackson, he got to make a lot of people miss in the backfield as well. Because, again, a lot of times the offensive line can be a tad bit overrated sometimes. Now, not saying they're going to be perfect. and not saying they even have to be perfect. But with Lamar Jackson, he has to do that a lot. Not every time, not every drop back he has to make people miss in the backfield. But he does have to do it quite often. Anyway, continuing. He said, but Lamar Jackson needs a number one wide receiver. I mean, self-explanatory. We ain't really got to take a deep dive into that one. Uh, but he also said, Lamar Jackson needs help. He needs help. But Ray Lewis said something that was very interesting, and we're going to get into that in a little bit. But first, uh, they haven't given Lamar Jackson the opportunity to really throw the ball downfield. Now, that part, I disagree with that part. Reason being because. Because, like, every pass in play, pretty much for Lamar Jackson under Greg Roman, it's a deep pass. So you ain't got no choice but to throw the ball downfield. Because Greg Roman, like, all right, everybody go deep. Everybody go long. Everybody. So Lamar Jackson, like, all right, hey, somebody going to come open short? Oh, okay, no, okay. Let me just wait. Let me just wait. Let me just wait. All right, maybe somebody going to come open down the field. Maybe. All right, I'll try it. So, but anyway, um, <laughs> said they haven't given Lamar the opportunity to really throw the ball downfield. Uh, let this guy do what I think he does very well. Now, with that part, um, I think the better wording would have been they don't really give him an opportunity to throw the ball. Or they don't give him enough opportunity to throw the ball. Or that they don't provide him with enough opportunity to throw the ball all over the field. To really use sideline to sideline. And that includes the scheme. That includes the weapons. That includes a bit of everything. See, even Carter like, ha ha, see? But they they just, anyway, let's let's keep going. Phil Sims interrupted. He said, you don't think they tried to do that maybe last year or this year, but the injury slowed the process? And that's a good question. That's a legitimate question, too. And last year, I mean, they did bring in Sammy Watkins. And obviously, he came back this year just for a little bit. I don't think he'll be back after this, though, for some reason. But um, anyway, last year, they did bring in Sammy Watkins. They drafted Rashad Bateman. They had Hollywood Brown. They still had, obviously had Mark Andrews. So last year, he was thinking like, uh-oh, okay, this okay, this, 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 this could be something right here. But then, unfortunately, Rashad Bateman, he got hurt, freak injury. Then Sammy Watkins, he got hurt, normal injuries. Uh, and then they just, the, the timing just never was really there. And technically, 
Uh, the first game where all three of them were active and all, all active together was against the Miami Dolphins last year, but Sammy Watkins was still hurt. They didn't use Rashad Bateman until the very end of the game, and it was just it was just a mess. That that was a terrible game. But anyway, um, so back to what what Phil Simms was saying. Maybe they tried. Now last year it seemed like they might have been trying, but um, injuries I think forced them to try last year because we remember last year J.K. Dobbins out, Gus Edwards out, Justice Hill out. All their running backs got hurt last year. All their main running backs got hurt last year, so they were forced to really throw that ball a lot more than they had been. Now, I was hoping, and we said it a lot last year, I'm like, all right, so Ravens, hello, you, you, you see now that Lamar can throw. I mean, he's already proven that to you, but he proved it to you some more. You see what you can do with a passing offense. Hey, I like it. Now, you get your guys healthy next year, which was this past season, and it's like, all right, all systems go, but... It didn't seem as if Ravens really got that memo. Uh, and then a lot of times with the Ravens offense, um, not even that it can just be so run heavy, but sometimes they just, it, it, it can be, it's, it's so imbalanced. It's so, it's so unbalanced. Imbalanced, unbalanced, whatever the word is. It's not balanced. And they go away from what works, the situational play. I don't even feel like getting started. But anyway, let's get back to what Ray Lewis was saying. He said, I get it. In response to Sims saying that you don't think they try to do that with like the, but the injuries and stuff slowed it both this past year and the season before that. Ray Lewis said, "I get it, I understand the injuries, but when you have a player that dynamic." But then he said, "This Patrick Mahomes is surrounded around nothing but help." Now that part, I was like, "All right, now Ray, Sugar Ray, hold up for a second. Uh, if you're talking about previous years." Okay, cool. Or if you're taking it a step, if, if you're speaking something that you're not saying, and what I mean when I say that, are you not just talking about personnel? Because it sounded like for what the way that Ray Lewis was speaking and where he was going, it sounded like he would be talking about personnel when he said Patrick Mahomes, he's surrounded around nothing but help. I was thinking, um, they skill positions. They, I mean, as far as their wide receivers, they like, all right, they straight. They, they're not bad. They're not great, but they're not bad. Travis Kelso, I mean, best tight end in the game by far. Travis Kelso, there you go for that. But I think with Patrick Mahomes, I mean, he is just straight up amazing, as we all know. But that's where it gets deeper. Because before Patrick Mahomes, he had a lot surrounding him. But also, he had the coaching in place to get it done. So he had the, the weapons and then the coaching on top of that. That's a double whammy. Boom, four straight AFC championships. So now they trade one, one of the best receivers in the game to the Dolphins and Tyreek Hill. And guess where they are right now? They still in the AFC championship again. So they've been in like four or five straight AFC championships. So that, that is due to the talent that they have on the team, but it also is due to the coaching that they have on the team as well They both go hand in hand So I, I, I wouldn't say Patrick Mahomes is just so surrounded With so much talent this year But He's surrounded by talented coaching And like extra talented coaching They really They make it happen over there in KC And you gotta give them their credit You have to But anyway um, So I didn't think that him using Patrick Mahomes Was the best example At least this year but I kind of see where he was going, kind of, sort of. But anyway, um, then, now this part, this is where you can tell. <laughs> so, it's like, sometimes you can always tell when, when people, like, really watch Ravens or they just, they might turn them on from time to time. But, but anyway, th then he said this. He said, um, Lam so Patrick Mahomes is surrounded around nothing but help. He said, for with Lamar, we got Mark Andrews, we got a couple of other guys, but we need pieces around Lamar Jackson to help Lamar Jackson. When he said that, I was thinking, all right, Ray. All right, Ray. Do you be watching? You be watching the Ravens. You 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 done took a break for a little bit, so you could just chill and whatnot. Cause I mean, he, he ain't throw around no Bateman. He ain't say nothing about no Demarcus Robinson, no Deshaun Jackson, no Sammy Watkins, no James Prochet, no no Devin Duvernay, no Tylen Wallace. Yeah, he ain't say nothing about none of them. No Nick Boyle, no Josh Oliver, no Isaiah Likely, no Charlie Cola. So. But now when you say it out loud, you kind of think 
like man um it's it's a tough gig man it's a tough gig for lamar jackson um and there's no disrespect to any of those guys because they nfl players but i think um what's going against all of those guys and what's been going against lamar jackson was the offense the scheme because it's like we we could never really see these guys full potential only if if they're running backs or they're tight ends then we can see their potential well even a lot of times we can't because a running back they're gonna hold them back too and that was so significant for wide receivers in the system and they complaining it's not significant it's expected like when hollywood was going off it was expected okay no we get it Des bryant went off it's expected okay we get it willie sneed end up going off it's expected okay we get it but and those are what wide receivers but when you have a running back complaining in a greg roman run first offense run first second third fourth and fifth offense that's when you definitely know it's a problem a running back complaining in a run first offense that don't make no kind of sense but here we are anyway um then sims asked uh ray lewis if he thought that lamar could have played through that injury <laughs> ray, ray lewis said ah but then he was like no because i've seen that injury firsthand i experienced that injury firsthand and whatnot and no it's not an injury especially for what he does that you could just come right back from so anyway um interesting interview make sure you watch the whole thing like i said I, it, it's going to be uploaded on our shorts uh so i love y'all team keep it clean i appreciate y'all shout out to uh young king because young king was the first person that actually sent this to me and he said hey look ray lewis ain't speaking nothing but facts then my guy uh raffari he said raffari he sent it to me as well i know i messed up your name my apologies you know i got a lot of love for you my apologies on your name but shout out to you and shout out to your whole family as well i, I hope y'all uh are watching this so i can give y'all y'all credit man so appreciate you. Always appreciate the encouraging words from you uh, and appreciate you supporting like crazy. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And like Ray Lewis said, let's give Lamar some help. But first, before you give Lamar Jackson some help, you got to make sure he's not out.